Hey, good morning, YouTube. Bearded Picker here. Welcome to my channel. It's friends, strangers, everybody's welcome. I'll be your guy for a few minutes. Just want to do a little bit of a different video. Uh, some reselling, but not hardly any. Um, here I am pausing. Came collect my own thoughts. Just wanted to show you guys the building, and and just what what I plan to do with it. And also for for non resellers, really to go over the cost of building one of these buildings and what it took to get it done because I could not find any information hardly at all when I started looking around so this will be information for I'm in Meridianville Alabama which is north of Huntsville so yeah let's look at the building you can see it in the background but I'll turn this camera around so you don't have to look at my ugly mug all right the heater is going so it's gonna be a little loud it's not cooperating this building is 20 by 24 um, I chose to have a smaller front door put on it the front door is 12 foot um, a normal double car garage is 16, which I have behind me, and a single car garage is uh, 8 or 9. So it's bigger, it's in the middle because I wanted a front door, which is not painted to match yet because it's too cold to paint the exterior <laughs> right now. I mean, it's 17 degrees here this morning. Um, as you can see, I had an extra pad poured here on this side. Um, the fence is going to go back, so ignore the fence. And the concrete goes around to the other door. I'm going to put a gate right there so you, with a lock on it, to go around the side of the building. Let me come up and show you that. Um, ignore my bucket there. That's the epoxy bucket. It was so cold. There's the second door. My wife wanted some windows in the building, so she got the windows. Those are lights, or those are motion LED lights. But the neighborhood requires that I have the brick base there on the bottom and the brick base, the brick front due to the rest restrictive covenants that are on this neighborhood. We don't have an HOA, but we have covenants in place to, the building has to be the same brick and match the house. And it also has to have a front that looks like, because all the houses in this neighborhood are all brick and it's required to have that brick ledge around it. It can have vinyl on the back side, So that's vinyl siding and then aluminum trim and aluminum eaves. So uh, the other thing, uh, not a nice view of the airport. That's how close I live to the airport. That's a tree I had to, we knocked down. It's a, a fir tree. But I just want to show you uh, the concrete I had poured. I had, I had poured what was going to originally going to be with the building. You can see the line over here. Um, it was going to come up to the corner of the building. And I decided, man, I'm going to be putting this trailer here, which is a, it's a five by eight trailer that I use sometimes. Hope the sun is not getting you guys as bad as I can't even see the phone. Um, so for an extra, it was, I think it's 1800 bucks. I had this 10 foot by 28 foot concrete pad poured on the side so that I could put the trailer, I can pack, park a car back here. Also, the one thing I added on the outside was, I guess you can see now because I can't see the screen. Um, there we go. Um, exterior outlets on both sides. So if I need to need a power on the outside, I could get power on the outside. All right, let's come around to the inside. Yes, I know there's only one bolt lock here. The, the other one is in the van. Ah. So it looks pretty normal inside. There's a power. The cable you see there is an ethernet cable. I hardwired ethernet from the house out here. Ran it out of my router right inside so that I would have full strength internet out here. I chose to go with a window unit for heat and air. Um, that's a 220 unit, 18.5 on the BTUs. So it's 70 here right now and it's 17 outside. I know it's more expensive to run the heat that way, but um, the stairs going to the attic. The attic is floored through the whole middle here, through the middle section between the lights. Um, six foot, six foot wide and I can stand up in the middle. So it's, it's the center of 5'10", 5'10". Yeah, I'm sure. Uh, it does have a opener. The door is insulated. Um, and as you can see, the, it kind of sits on the, the center block ledge. It's got the treated wood, then the wall. The floor, I don't know how my, well this shows up. This is an epoxy floor. This is the first time I've been in here on it. One of my lights fell, so I've got to figure out how to make that sucker stay up better. It's an epoxy resin floor by Rust-Oleum that you put the flakes in. 
it uh, makes everything look very uniform. Uh, you have your standard garage door opener. Let's flip on some lights, see what happens. So one of them doesn't come on, but on this side of it here is going to oh, which is the right hand side by the door. It's going to be all shelves. We're going to put, I think I can get eight shelves in the arrangement. I'm going to do it and I'll do another video as I set it up. In the middle, I'm going to put uh, some tables to be a receiving area. And then over on this side, uh, it's going to be a desk, a shipping area, and a pitcher area, and then the air conditioner. As you can see, you know, it's, it's not bad because I, I did insulation in the attic. The attic's got R19. The walls have got R14, R13, I'm sorry. But the unit has just turned itself off, and it's, it's not running all the time. The insulation is working very well. Um, the only issue I've got is this wire, for some reason, got cut by the drywallers. So they had to run another wire to get to the lights. And so the drywall is got torn to pull that socket out. But yeah, this is the building. I just wanted to, to show it to you. I don't know what else, <laughs> what else to show you in here. I will do a future video probably in a couple of weeks of the setup. And I will, I'll try to record my process as I go through setting it up so you guys can see my inventory system. That's what this video, I just wanted to talk about the building itself. Let me switch it back to me. So I just wanted to talk about the, the building itself and what it takes to build it. Started construction November 1st, finished it Friday, I don't know what it was, January 10th, January 11th. And uh, let's see, the, the total cost. The original building was supposed to cost 22. The electrical was, was, was two more. So it's going to be 24 total. Ended up spending 27.1 for the all-in. The additional concrete uh, behind the house was a thousand, and the pad was 1,800. So there's, and this to do two doors was add the door and go smaller was 300 bucks. So that gets you to the 27.1. The reason I just want to talk about cost is nowhere could I find the price for online for because, uh, for stick built. Uh, construction with the full bricks and I can find metal building prices I can find you know the builds at Walmart all those are against our covenants and I got some estimates the first estimate I got was from this guy here to build a bigger building and I couldn't afford the 34 or 8 or whatever the, the bigger building was going to be and then I had a, two other firms come in and one of them was at 33 for this size and the other one was at 34 for this size. So if it, you should, if you're gonna do this, get multiple estimates. The prices can vary wide, very greatly. And I never done this, so I'm gonna assume that people, I can't get it where I'm looking at the phone, I look like, like I'm looking at everywhere else. Because I was so new, um, so basically the way it happened is once we signed the papers for the, this thing to be built, um, we had to pay 20%, whatever, it was $4,300 down. And then there were draws to come through. So once, the, once they dug the foundation, there was a draw. Once they poured the concrete in here, there was a draw. The concrete outside, the framing. Once the, tr the trusses went up, I had to purchase the trusses because um, they were custom, custom size for this builder, for this builder. And the bricks, when the bricks came in, I, I had to pay for the bricks too as well, which is fine. Um, our house is a different color. I don't know how well it shows up, but the bricks, the, the standard bricks are not even made in this color, in this area. You can't get them anymore. So we had to use what was called a queen size brick, which is a different size brick on this building. You really can't tell it when you look at it and look at the house. And then the, the electrical was my responsibility, even though the contractor knew an electrician. So I, I paid the con I paid the electrician. You know, I worked it out with him. He came and I told him what I wanted, which is I added some outlets. You know, the two exterior. Each wall has three outlets, except for the desk area. That's a double. And you know, all the lights on the outside are together, all three of them, and then. I chose to do the lights here with the, you can see the extension cords. I'm gonna attach those to the ceilings. I haven't quite finished with those yet, but they were a great deal at Costco. They are 3,500 lumens, LEDs. 
with the with the eight dollar rebate, they were Costco. They were nineteen ninety seven a set. So I'm only got eighty dollars in four eight lights. Actually, I've got one hundred sixty in eight lights. Sorry about that. My math is uh, it's too early in the morning. My brain is frozen to do math. But I just wanted to before I started filling this sucker up, I just wanted to get some pictures and just to talk to you guys about what it cost. They procedure went is they brought the backhoe in, they dug out the foundation, uh, and then they came and laid the center blocks and and got all the, got the foundation ready and then they poured the foundation and they poured the driveways as well. Um, some people pour those last, some people pour those first. With the rain coming in this time of year, we thought it'd be better just go ahead and get the driveway in. And so when they did the bricks, that dark colored uh, mortar, they covered up everything with plastic so that uh, the mortar wouldn't stain the concrete. There's a little bit of staining, but not it's not bad. And uh, so yeah, then once the concrete and everything went in, then they, they framed it up, put the trestles up, roof went on, sides went on, and then on the inside, you know, they insulation drywall, and then the exterior bricks went on, garage door went up, and I started painting. I used three gallons of Kills white, just latex white, and then I followed behind it with Valspar, um, their medium paint, which has medium white paint, which has their medium gray paint that has. Um, kills or whatever that is in it again to make sure it covered up well and I put the insulation in the attic that wasn't included um, each roll was $77 nine pieces took three so that was not very expensive I could have had it blown in but uh, it's just an easier I just got up there and played contor contortionist to get it done and let's see I bought the window unit and he told me if I if I had it, you know, they would frame it out and so I bought it early in the process so that they could measure it and frame it out. So it's actually it's actually framed out. Well I'll walk around back and we'll we'll uh I'll get you a good look at how it looks. So it it looks like it was was made here. I'll just I might switch video or whatever. But the unit is in and the, and all the all the stuff around it is made the way it looks like it's supposed to be in there so it doesn't look look cheap or anything so that's it guys uh 27 one for a 24 by 20 building that's a brick front brick around the ledges and then the extra concrete was another almost three grand uh i will show you once i get the fence up and i get moved in uh i'll film the process and look forward to another video but just the process of, i just wanted to go over the process of building this building and what it costs because I could not find any numbers on it and that's it hey thanks for watching guys I hope this helped if you're looking to build one of these buildings um, I wish I had gone bigger I couldn't afford to go bigger so I'm okay with that but I look forward to utilizing the space the ceilings are very high so uh, I think I've got 10 foot 10 or 11 foot ceilings in there because of the slope of the land the way it was and the way they did it so I should be able to store very high, so I should get lots of storage in it upstairs as well. All right, it's good seeing you guys. Like, comment, subscribe. If you got any questions, put them down below. Um, I'm kind of an open book, man. I don't really hide a lot. I'll tell you what each, what anything costs, or all that kind of good stuff, because uh, it's just an informational video here to try to see if I can help help answer questions somebody else has. Because I never done this before. I we bought houses, but never built anything like this before we'd always had just the regular old sears metal buildings all right see you guys thanks